Yesterday, we brought to you the recorded announcement by the Prime Minister, Dean Barrow, on the dates for general elections and nomination day. This evening, we can tell you that a writ has been issued by the Governor-General, observing November 4, 2015 as election day and October 16 as nomination day countrywide. With these announcements, several entities have begun getting into election mode, including the media, the electorate, and most importantly, the Elections and Boundaries Department. Today, a release came out of their office surrounding Section 57.1 of the Registration of the People of the Representation of the People Registration Rules, which states, quote, the persons entitled to vote at the election of a divisional representative shall be those persons whose names appear on the register for that division as existing on the nomination day, end of quote. In essence, what this is saying is if you have not gone in to register as a new voter, then you'll not be able to vote in the upcoming elections. Actually, only those persons who have registered on or before September 10 will qualify to vote. The release went on to explain, quote, This is in conformity with the timetable mandated by the Representation of the People Act to ensure that the period guaranteed by law for making objections and the hearing of appeals by the revising officer is complied with. Persons who applied to be registered after September 10, 2015 would not have gone through the process required by law as of nomination day, end of quote. According to the Elections and Boundaries Department, the registers for each of the electoral divisions are available at the Election and Boundaries offices countrywide.